Hi. Good afternoon to everyone. This is Satvik Reddy. Today I would like to talk about the point of sale from the management information subject. My professor name is Charles Tropito. And my ID is 1713163. And today I would like to talk about the point of sales. Actually it is defined as the where the customers can execute payment service payment for services in the organization or in the shopping malls or in the restaurants or in the any place for the goods and services actually it involves the use of a computer cash register scanner and the credit card reader and etc and it also provides the real time data on sales inventory and customer behavior and many more and there is a mandatory components will be used in the point of sale like the cash register barcode receipt printer customer display and let's see how to discuss each of them first the, first the cash register it is used to record sales and make changes for customers and second one is the barcode scan- scanner it is used to quickly and accurately read barcodes for accurate product information and pricing this is very important in the point of sale information because many items customer can buy many items and you have to easily scan the item which is to be price information something extra receipt printer after the complete of the payment the customer wants or it said give the receipt so that we have to use the receipt printer and then have to provide the customer display with the transaction information such as the total amount due it and it can also be used to display promotional chat messages and next we have to talk about the point of sales it also provides the information between the various hardware components and the database and it also allows user to easily access and manage customer product and inventory data there are some changes we have to do in the below diagram of the point of sale and we discuss the changes below the diagram mainly all the components are covered except the cash register database some wireless networks in the diagram so we will discuss detail about them it is the architect of the point of sales information how to take and there is a, some components not having in the diagram and so let's we have to discuss each and about them firstly a database a actually database allows users to quickly search for specific items or customers and it can be used for analytics and forecasting because having a large database is very useful or very good for the organization or the firm for the goods or the products and the cash data nowadays many more people are using a credit cards or debit cards or some type of cards because nowadays are people also using the instead of card cash like the a, 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 very low child people child children are mainly used for that using cash so we have to give we have to provide the cash dryer also mainly and how to better to use a wireless network in an organization always maintain a security measures in the pos system it is very hel- it is very helpful to provide a wireless network in an organization better than the wired networks and always have to maintain a security measures in the point of sale system because by having taking the good measurements in the security so why our data will be safe and cannot be accessed by the malicious users and cannot be hacked so that so how to maintain a security measures in the pos system and my other references are agnostic steps and andre conard who is the senior content analyst and content writer at software advice covering technology and trends and also the second reference is rashmi shyamla who is the senior ceo and the technical content writer at batch master of software private limited and by using these two i wrote the point of sale information yeah. okay thank you